vehicle is loaded up and off to St. Charles, Missouri for the great train show at the St. Charles Convention Center this weekend. So let's go for a ride. Okay, we're back as you can see in front of me. I got a table full of stuff from the show. I know I started off just showing the few little clips I had from the St. Charles Great Train show. The show was really super busy, so it was hard to move around as it was. So I just recorded a little bit of our T-Track Club layout, and I didn't get around to any other layouts. So I apologize for that, but like I said, it was one of the busiest shows that we've seen in a long time. Anyway, as you see in front of me. I got on the table everything I bought, so we'll start out. Let's just go through what I did, what I did pick up. We'll start here. I got two of these. Come up, make sure you can see. They're the Woodland Scenics Picket Fence. I bought two packs of them. It's right here, two of them. I'm going to use this on the 2 by 4 foot in scale layout to go around the cemetery, I decided. I was looking for other stuff, and I saw this, and I really like it. Nice, clean, white picket fence to go around the little church cemetery. It's still being used, so you can see the price on everything. So yeah, next up on the table here, I got a left and a right number six turnout. And the same thing, a left and a right, just the regular standard for the main end scale layout for the yard area and for that switching area that I'm building. I need more switches for both of them. Don't ask which is gonna go where, it's gonna be hard. Chances are these smaller ones may go in the switching yard part since that's just going to be little short engines and the two bigger ones go in the yard where I'll have the bigger steam and diesel engines running through. But we'll see how it all fits and how it all goes. Next up is the Woodland Scenics Light Hub stuff. This is all this is going to go for the 2x4 foot layout as I'm lighting it up. I got the port sharing device. You can see the price, $8 a piece. For, I'm going to pick up a couple cars probably to put on the layout that light up from Woodland Scenics. I got two of the light hubs to go with the expansion hub just so I can do more buildings. Unfortunately, nobody had any of the Woodland Scenics buildings I wanted at the show, so I have to pick them up later. But I did get two of them. And finally, I did finally pick off the auxiliary, the on-off switch, basically, so I can turn power on and off to the lights. So, there was that. Then, one of the vendors had... Digitrax and flip it around here. Oop, I dropped it. I'll, pick, I'll use the other one. I did get two of these. I them for still five dollars each, just the UP5 panels, which we use for T-Track, and I use on my home layout. So I figure I pick a couple of them up. These probably get used on T-Track modules. Be true to get us some more. As I am looking at building a couple two, three foot T-Track modules and changing up stuff and doing a little switching yard. So I'd say one of them could probably end up on that. So yeah, and the final thing I bought, which is the big thing, you can see the four orange boxes in the background. One vendor had all four of the add-on cars to the Lionel Super Chief starter set, including, so we can get so you can see it, Dome Car 500, Dome Car 501, pull this up here, 9155, which is the extra coach, and... 1356 right here which is the baggage car now i'm gonna go over these and these four in their own video 
and show them off and opening and everything and put them in the train and run. So look for that to be coming really soon. But there is another coach that Lionel put out for this set, originally a different number. So I'll be on the lookout for that. They don't make it anymore, so it's going to be a search to try to find. But anyways, let me kind of clean up and try to back. May push stuff together here. Give me a shot. There we go. Anyways, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, subscribe if you haven't. Crush that like button because it helps me get more viewers and subscribers on my road to 1,000 so I can start going live on YouTube more often. As always, comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. Anyways, once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.